start off with the game between uh, Vanderbilt and Wake Forest to start us off here for uh, a week three, week two, whatever you want to call it. Uh, here, these will. This one is actually an early one hour early start uh, in this one, eleven Eastern and uh, eight AM Pacific. So hopefully, we'll be off the air before this one start <laughs> before this game starts between uh, Vandy and Wake. All right, let's get uh, let's get into it a little bit here. Uh, hopefully you got your picks right. And it didn't go too well last week with the comments. So uh, hopefully we'll get in a little bit routine where we know when the um, sh- you know, we're doing college football and you guys will be ready. And I know you guys want to see, probably want to see a game. A lot of people want to see a game. So, all right. I uh, do want to t- kind of want to s- give me one second. Let me, uh, let me kill myself slowly with some more soda pop. I'm sure some of my cohorts are saying how I can talk for two hours. I know a couple other guys that do it, though. And especially my main man, the man, the, the king of these YouTube streams. And, and our guy, too. Don't forget about our guys. All right. Oh, one more before we go here on this. I did see some steam coming in on a baseball game right now. And uh, it's totally opposite uh, what I said but it's only going to create a little bit of value for me because I see a game that's headed right now to uh, an 11. I'm showing a couple books, putting up an 11 right now on that uh, game between showing two games taking over steam right now. One of them, we have the over giants and Cubs talked about that. win. talked about yesterday, I'm starting to see 11s for the giants and the Cubs game. And I'm also starting to see, uh, 11s in the Mets and the Nationals. 11s, you guys. We're not even in Chicago in this game. Uh, this is just going to be what's going to be happening, it feels like, in September. Let's get to the football. I mean, this is, ta- you know, we got to get out of here. All right. Uh, last year, Wake Forest led this game by 25 points when uh, Swan came off the bench, threw a couple of TD passes, and Wake Forest ended up winning uh, the game uh, 45-25. They were a 13-point favorite. So Swan kind of brought them back a little bit, but uh, it was the Deacons that still got it. Uh, Bandy last week, they led Hawaii by uh, 21 points, or two weeks ago, I guess it is now, and then they allowed a couple of drives by the Rainbows. They ended up winning by just seven. Last week, they had another slow start. They led 12-3 at halftime, but ended up blowing out uh, my Alabama A&M team, uh, 47-13. That was uh, that was not a cover. They won by 34. They were favored by 36. So uh, Wake Forest, uh, what they played Elon, they beat them. They were, they were 27, nothing in the third quarter. Uh, Elon had a 76 yard drive. They had a pick six. Uh, they, they kicked a field goal on the final play of the game. Uh, Wake Forest is a 31 point favorite, 137 to 17. So uh, Wake Forest, um, their quarterback Griffiths has started two games, but uh, you got to wonder with Swan, uh, in here, I would think at this time, I think that's what's going on in this game. Uh, here, they're they're getting still double digits. The move has been on Vandy. This one opened, I thought, as high as 14. It's now down to 10 and a half. I think the value is probably out the window here with Vandy, but it, it feels like this is the way that I kind of still want to go. I'm just going to call up the lines. I don't think, uh, just to keep the order here, I don't think there's been any... Uh, blind movement on these uh, games this morning. I'm showing 10, 57 and a half. Oh, I, I, you know, cost myself a half a point here, maybe by taking a peek at this one, uh, going with an offshore book. Maybe you can get a, depends what you're looking for here in this one, but it uh, depends. Uh, it looks like I can only get 10 if I want to take Vandy here. feel like I still want to go with Vandy. 
uh, in this one. And uh, maybe you guys have some comments here. Wake Forest is on uh, a bit of a good stretch right now. I think they've won 11 of their last uh, 15 as a home favorite. But uh, uh, this coach is 7-3 and three as an underdog. I've got to think Vandy can stay in there within a touchdown against Wake. It feels like doesn't feel like an overwhelming game. It's nine on DraftKings. Look at this. All right. Thanks, doubles. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna run over here. Uh, you guys have got some play. Hey, lovable plays. Nice to see you. You guys can put your other plays in the chat on the other, and we'll get to Colorado here. Brent says maybe Wake here. Uh, this is the best price. And look, if it's a nine now, boy, I better get on something here. I'm going to take Vandy plus 10, I guess. Frederick says he's going under in this one. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. I might even be saving this. I feel like uh, if it is Swan, I feel like maybe there could be more off. I respect Wake a little bit defensively, but, uh, you know, you see some of the numbers that uh, they've been put up. These aren't great. Uh, great, great teams. We know that. So give me Vandy in this one. All right. Thanks, you guys, for hanging out. No, Mike, these are Saturday. Uh, i got to get started early. I, I can't sit there on Saturday, and I try, I'm trying to get to every game. Tony does every game as well, but I want to have a pick out there uh, in every game if I can. And uh, I get started early. I'm not going to sit there on Saturday and do 50 games. Uh, usually I cover the early games throughout the week and then the late games on Saturday. Appreciate you.